Hi everybody, I'm going to rehouse two of the little mantis I got at the show last week. I know I said I weren't, but this one is still tiny, the little spiny flower mantis is fine in there. For another molt anyway. But the ghost mantis had a molt and it's way too big for there now. If it has another molt there's no room for it so... And this little green one down there is actually longer than it's quite long. It's not chunky. It's got right long legs. So again, if it molts, it's not going to have much room. So, but they're still only quite small. So instead of putting them in the cricket tubs, I have these little square ones. Um, all I'll do is put the kitchen roll, not the kitchen roll, the um, makeup cotton wool pads at the bottom for the humidity I'm, I'm not putting dirt in they don't need the dirt it's just too much faffing around with these I can just put a bit of moss on wet it and they're good to go they've got the humidity to want but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue a stick to the top of each one for something for them to walk up to the top Right in the middle. And then once it's glued to the top and it sits, it will just sit down on them cotton pads at the bottom. I'm just going to do them both the same. Like that. They're both going to get a little, these little ones I put on the tops, the lids of the globe enclosures. But I'm just going to put this on the side just for something for them to walk up like that. There we go. I'll get that blue strand off later. There we go. Um, each going to get a flower. Oops, I'm not sure where I'm going to put it, maybe at the top, maybe down there, hmm. I think what I'll do is, now what I just did with the other one was that thing, it's not going to stick flush with that thing on it so I just cut as much off it off as I could like that there now that should stick somewhere properly there we go no, I'm not sure if I want it down there I'm just going to put it in that corner like that Oh, it has melted that but it doesn't matter now I think we'll have that's actually I'm going to put that on the door because what I'm going to do is put this little green oops this one like up the back there that's it because when I get the lids now I know the different lids let me just check which one's which nope Be after the other one. Yes. 
yeah, that one's off that one. So, out the way, little mantis a minute. The door, like, not the door. Well, it is the door, I guess. Like that. There we go. Now I'll just let that cool and dry and harden while we do number two. That'll be right. I'll pull that off in a minute. So the, this one is just going to get exactly the same. Thing about this hot glue is a strands that go everywhere. Flower on that side. Is that stuck on? Feels like it's not stuck. There. Had a leaf caught where the sticky bit was, so there was no sticky to stick on the plastic. Is it stuck? Try that one again. There, that feels better. Right, same again. This one's going to get a pink butterfly just to be different. This one's going to get a little orangey bit up the back instead of the, oh no, in fact that's off of the door isn't it, so it's this that needs to go up the back. which one I put the glue on that one or that one but if we push them all it'll be all right and then the same again the door lid whatever it's called we'll get that little orange thing which is here I thought I'd lost and I know you can see my face in the reflection I've noticed don't worry I don't care anymore But don't think I'll be putting my face on all the videos because I won't. <laughs> Not ready for that yet. Right. And then that. Just safeguard. If they fall down the front, they've got something to cling to. That's why I put it there. And sometimes when you open the lid off them and they're sat on them, you can open it and feed them there and then put the lid back on. It makes life a lot easier. Because you can just drop the food on it and they'll chase around and get it themselves. So that's unplug the glue gun. Right, so that's that. So back to the first one and it should all be glued ready. Yeah. Now. Now all I have to do is. Soak the cotton pads at the bottom, soak up the moisture, they give out humidity for days and days without having to mess about. Um, I will put moss on the top as well but my moss is somewhere else so I'll leave it for now. I'll put it in later though. 
it's not a problem. Move the stick so it sits. There we go. So let's see if we can do this so you can see. Well, we can do it that way, can't we? Because it makes no difference. There. So I think the yellow one can have this little green one. It's like green and red. It's really, really pretty, this one. Let's see if my phone will focus on it. Actually, it's focusing quite well. For change. There we go. Alright, come on then. This is really active, this one as well, so... Oops, sorry, I've not got it in camera. Go get it to focus. So it'll probably draw you in this tub better. Careful, little one. I'm going to come up on my hand, okay. You want to say hello? Guess not, because it won't focus. How about we zoom in? No, you kind of got a look. <laughs> so small. How about you go on your flower? Nope. Stick. Right, I got him out, but he keeps jumping off everywhere. <laughs> I ran out of memory, so I've had to clear some stuff on, and the two minutes it took me to clear the video off so I could carry on filming, it jumped up, I don't know how many times. I'm hoping it's going to go and jump into there so we can see it. You going to jump? Jump, little one. Yay! <laughs> oh, oh, he's he's, <laughs> he's actually sat on the bottom of the phone right now. Come on! In fact, he's come up to say hello. He's on the top of the phone. Yeah, a blooming nuisance! Right, just jump into your tub and then we'll be happy. Go on, boop your bum into there. We'll just go in, thank you. That's better. There he goes. But before he comes out, let's get his lid on. There. So quickly, before my phone goes off again. One. And two. Got a bit of glare because of the sun through the window. But let's see if we can find this one. Oh, I can see a leg. There, can you see a leg? Hiding behind there. Oh, there. There he is. And this one is wibble wobbling on there. So they're in. There we go. Done. Perfect. I think they're quite cute. Just the right size for him as well. We've got plenty of room and stuff to molt off. But not too far to drop and fall and hurt themselves. So, thank you for watching. And we shall see you all next time. Bye bye.